Bringing you some breaking news right now. Another GOP candidate for president is leaving the race. Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina announcing just a few moments ago he is suspending his campaign for president. Scott making the surprising announcement in an interview with Fox just a few minutes ago. Take a listen. But when I go back to Iowa, it will not be as a presidential uh, candidate. I am suspending my campaign. I, I think the voters uh, who are the most remarkable people on the planet have been really clear that they're telling me uh, not now, Tim. I don't think they're saying, Trey, no, but I do think they're saying not now. All right, we want to bring in Niall Stanich now on the phone. Niall, thanks for being here. What is your reaction to this and also the manner of this announcement tonight? I think the manner of it is surprising, Natasha. I'm not so sure that the substance of it is surprising. Senator Scott is bowing to the inevitable in one sense. He hasn't really got traction in this race. He stayed pretty low in the polls. And I think what we saw in retrospect was probably his last chance to make an impact at that third Republican debate. He did not really do so, and that left him with nowhere to go, no runway left. And I think mm. he has therefore decided that it's time to fold his tent. Who is this announcement most likely to help in the GOP field, do you think? Former Governor Nikki Haley, I would say, for a couple of reasons. First, she, he, she and Senator Scott obviously share a home state. It's a very important state on the Republican primary calendar, third in line. So she will no longer have a home state competitor in that primary. She's also someone, I think, who appeals to a broadly similar demographic within the GOP to Senator Scott. The danger here was always for someone like Nikki Haley that there were just too many other candidates in the race. Senator Scott dropping out does aid her to some degree. This is just days after the Wednesday GOP debate, as you allude to. Um, what was his showing? Uh, what was the general impression from his performance on Wednesday? Why now? I think in terms of it, you know, the performance on Wednesday, it just lacked a little bit of an impact. And that has been a persistent criticism of Senator Scott's performance uh, on the debate stage and to some degree um, on the campaign trail. So at a certain point, you just run out of chances. Nobody, particularly an incumbent senator, wants to be humiliated by a very bad result in the Iowa caucuses or beyond them. And we've seen this kind of thing in both parties, you know, Vice President Harris, for example, dropped out of the Democratic race in 2020 before the first contests. So it's not that unusual, but I think it's a, a desire to maintain some level of dignity and, as Senator Scott noted in that clip, preserving his chances perhaps for another tilt at the presidency mm. at some later date. All right, Niall Stanich, always appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining us. That breaking news, that other GOP contender leaving the race, Senator Tim Scott is out. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.